Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! <sighs> Open in Arizona. You get to see the donkeys or the burros. It's really cool if you're if you ever go to Laughlin, Nevada, fuck Laughlin, go to Oatman, Arizona. Dear asshole, first I want to say thank you for your books, especially enjoyed the decline and really helped me put a finger on the reason for the feelings of dependency and hopelessness that I felt after leaving the military and then graduating college with a worthless degree. I've given copies of Worthless and Bachelor Pad Economics to all my cousins who are in high school and will do the same for my, my nephews. Once they're old enough to read and understand the material, keep up the great podcast as well. I'm 37 years old and have a worthless degree in political science. I wasted most of my GI Bill benefits on thinking and I wanted to work for the State Department. <clears throat> but after reading the master, becoming aware of the current state of affairs, I haven't seen the clusterfuck that the state was, is in Iraq and other places, I decided that I would rather be eaten by a bear and shit off a cliff than deal with the hyper PC douchebaggery of public service day in, day in and day out. I fell back on the skills I learned in the military and now sucking from the government teat as a contractor in high threat areas. I really like it. I only work half a year for about $100,000 and get a bunch get to work with a bunch of guys who are the most un-PC dick jokes abound. The tax benefits and uh, IRA, I'm working on a contractor basis of better than being a wage slave in America's 9 to 5 job and being completely free <clears throat> for 5 to 6 months a year allows me Time to travel, drink beer, and chase foreign women. The downsides of that being gone from friends and family results in a small sense of isolation sometimes. There's zero possibility of upward mobility. The job itself is not terribly fulfilling and quite monot monotonous, but the biggest downside of all is that eventually this government spending bubble is going to pop. I need to be working on a plan that I can implement once it does. Due to my schedule, I'll be able to take one semester of university community college skill training per year while still fulfilling the 180 days per year that I'm contractually required to work. I'm thinking of either the nursing field or IT, specifically information assurance cybersecurity. I am way more interested in the medical field, but am intelligent enough to learn IT skills. Plus, with personal information from being compromised, it seems nearly every day, target OPM, etc., the information assurance field is going to continue to be one of the great opportunities. On the flip side, many reputable universities offer accelerated nursing programs and you can complete them in one to two years if you already have a bachelor's. Then there's a shitload more women and there's a shit more load more women. Yes, there is. When we work security at the hospitals, it is yes. Oh yes. I, I can't even mention the hospitals we like the most because then I'll go on the yeah, so we just shut up. Oh, there's, it, we don't even notice the women at the hospitals, what are you talking about? Anyway, within the next year, I'll be debt-free and have about $100,000 saved up in my savings and IRA. I can save about forty dollars to $50,000 per year. I have no wife or kids and don't plan to. And one semester of GI Bill's benefits left as I finish my worthless piece of shit LeBron degree early because it was so goddamn easy. So after all that, my questions to you are, one, what do I need to know about how potential employers in each of these fields will look at me changing to these careers in my late 30s or early 40s or maybe even beyond? <clears throat> they are not going to care all that much. Uh, I know there's some spooky stuff. Oh, I'm over 50. Oh, shut the fuck up. Everyone gets old, all right? Right now, see, this isn't the question you should be asking yourself. Right now, you make six fucking figures. You're in the top, like, 7% of people right now. You don't give that shit up. You milk that fucking shit till it goes off the cliff and that government contract money runs out. That's what you do, especially for a part-time work. Admittedly, it's very dangerous, all right? After you get to that point and you save up all this money, the debate about what marginal discrimination may or may not exist in these IT and the medical fields, you can worry about that when you get to that crossroads. But it's going to be a lot less of a problem than you hemming and hawing now about it. Um, I personally don't believe there is any discrimination because depending on the field that you're in, uh, if you're in a good in-demand field, they're not going to care about your age. They're going to care about whether or not you can do the work. Uh, so um, I would not worry about the nursing thing and I would not worry about IT. And IT is still predominantly guys when you only give a shit if you can get your shit done. Uh, nursing maybe a little bit differently, but the thing you're going to have in nursing 
you're a good ripped, good looking guy, that's going to be an advantage for you because it's predominantly women. And they like having a good looking guy around, no matter what they may say about how you're a bicycle and they're a fish. So um, I would not even have that factor into your thinking whatsoever. And you know what? If they're going to discriminate against you, they were going to discriminate against you anyway. It's, it's like, you know, if the tornado is going to hit my house, it's going to hit the house. There's nothing I can do about it. So uh, don't worry about that. Two, what are your recommended routes to getting retrained in these skills? Due to the progressive credentialism, a bachelor's of science in nursing is standard for new grads, but in tech, seems like you're still good with a two-year certificate degree and experience. Um, let me finish your other paragraph here because I, I think it's going to put light onto the second question. I'm going to continue sucking this contract money up as long as possible, but I realize at a certain age, employers are going to be turned off. I don't know about that. I really doubt that. I'm still very physically fit. I have some good social skills, not Asperger like some millennials. <laughs> Here's another reason older people are going to be in the man. What? You wipe your own ass? You don't live at home with mom? And you know how to balance a checkbook? My God, you're hired. <laughs> Ah, uh, and I have a good work ethic. I would love to be an MD and an ER, but due to my age and the length of training required to become a physician, that ship has held. Has it really? What's this fucking age bullshit? I don't know. I think you might want to look into becoming an MD. I mean, certainly you could do that route where you go get your bachelor's of science in nursing as your undergrad, and then you apply to med school later. That's certainly not going to hurt you in med school. Uh, and you could stage it, you know, like you get your nursing, you get in, then you go become a doctor. Why don't you go talk to some doctors and find out, is it too late for me to... Again, can you repatch an aorta? Oh, shit, you know, there I am in the ER room. You know, you want to be a, a surgeon in the ER room. My aorta has been cut. And I'm going to sit there, oh, wait, 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 he's 52. Oh, I don't want... Is there like a, a late 20s, early 30-something doctor? You think they're going to give a shit? All right, so... I do a little bit of investigation and see if it's if you're too old to be a doctor. I mean, you might become a doctor at 47. Okay, fine, but um, you're not dead at 47. You, you got another 30, 40 years of life left. What's wrong with being a doctor for 30 years? You might enjoy it. You may never retire. So the first step down the medical route would be get your bachelor's of science in nursing and not dismiss the chances of you becoming a doctor. Talk to some doctors. Find out what they recommend. Uh, but being in an emergency room, trauma nurse is still an option. Most of my friends are MDs or aren't. Talk to your friends. Ask them. And I've talked to them extensively. They say I would have no problems getting hired, but I'd like an outside opinion. Also, society seems to accept people who are going into medicine later in life versus the tech field where 30 is considered old balls. Well, not if you... God, oh, fuck it, Monty. What's with this age shit? This defeatism is, is disgusting. Uh, oh, and one final constraint I'd like to stay in the U.S. Well, let's address them. All right, here's the deal. You obviously have the preference for becoming a nurse. Uh, yeah, it's going to take more um, education, but I don't know if it is going to take more education because you already have your bachelor's, of, your bachelor's of Arts of Political Science, so your first two years of prerequisites are out of the way. It's pretty much just going to be two years of you getting your nursing uh, uh, degree, so repurposing your current credits, transfer to wherever you got to go, get yourself your degree in nursing. I think you could be off to races. Maybe three years max. I can't imagine more than two. So it's going to be about the same amount of time as if you were to go back to IT. Now, is IT going to hurt? No, but it sounds like it sounds like you really want to do the nursing thing. Now, if you want to get your uh, cybersecurity, which there's another field you have to be careful of. It's not just so you learn how to program ACL statements and set up some firewalls. It's way more advanced, so it takes a lot more than what you think it takes today. So you're going to start off low, and then you kind of work your way up. But you're going to need to like get a lot of experience and a lot of uh, accreditation or certifications. But based on the way you talk about it, go become a fucking nurse. Like if, if it was like, I want to go and teach English abroad, I'd be like, fucking hell no, you don't. Go become a nurse. See, it's not like one's a shitty idea and the other one's a great idea. You have two great ideas, IT or nursing. It's just that your passion seems to be in nursing. So just go do become a nurse, dude. Just do it. Um, now, that being said, I would milk this fucking government. If you're still in shape and we still got contractors over in fucking Iraq or Afghanistan or wherever the fuck you are, and you can still pump, you keep working for that six figures. Because as a, as a nurse, you're not going to make $100,000. You're not making six figures right out of the bat. All right? So you keep working. You keep making that money. 
And, and the point then may become moot because if you do that, you're banking away $50,000 a year. You do this for 10 more years, that's $500,000. You're golden. You don't have to work. You could kind of go minimalistic retirement. You could go work as some sleepy security guard at the third shift, make it 12 bucks an hour, and you'll be fine until you're dead, assuming you spend a minimalist life, which it sounds you do because you don't want wife or kids. So what I would do is start looking at your future career here and not as like, oh, what do I got to do to replace? But what am I going to do more like hobby? Like, what do I have a genuine intellectual interest in? And once again, it seems to be the medical field. Um, so that that's what I would recommend. Um, okay. Oh, and one final constraint. I like to stay in the U.S. even though it sucks balls. I want to be able to have an influence on my nephews and do everything I can to set them up for success. As my brother and sister law are hopelessly blue pill or whatever you call it. So calling it a life in Thailand is out. I, working with kids that are not mine, nieces, nephews, and, and, and friends, children, you can stick around all you want. It's not going to, you got to, sending them a book, emailing them, hanging out with them every once in a while, uh, that's all you can really do. Um, so whether you're in Thailand and you visit twice a year, or you send them a book or whatever, or whether you're in the United States, you're going to have about the same amount of influence. So I would not be ruling out Thailand or South Korea or wherever it is you think you may want to go. Because um, it, it, and it's sad because it's like you could see it. You could see, I've known plenty of adults ruining their kids' lives, but you're not the parent. You can't get in there and say, hey, kid, wake the fuck up and let me tell you, because then they all pissed off and all that. So I would not. I know you want to stay in the U.S., which is fine. You could be a nurse in the U.S. You're, it's according to your plan right now. But I would not limit yourself to the United States. I would definitely, if you want to go become a nurse in Belize, go become a nurse in Belize. You want to become an IT guy in uh, in Malaysia, go become an IT guy in Malaysia. I know this was a fucking novel, so I appreciate you sticking with it. If you're ever over in Utah, I'm not deployed. Give me a shout out. Many beers will be qua will be quaffed. <laughs> And we won't mention his name because we want to remain honest. Yeah, that's it. That's what I recommend. Um, you, you know, don't don't get out of that gig with hundred thousand dollars a year. Do not just just keep doing that, man. Keep fucking doing that. Um, and then I would, add, you know, add you know if you're here stateside or whatever. You got that? Go ahead, slowly work your way towards your nursing degree. But what a semester every year that you're off. A semester you go back and bang out a ton of uh, money. Yeah, within what? Four years? Yeah, four years, one semester each, you should be approaching your nursing degree. See what you can take online over there. I don't know if you're working 12 on, 12 off or whatever, but see if you can't take a couple online classes while you're stationed overseas. Anyway, best of luck. Toodles.